Okay, well this is a uh, horological machine number five, uh, HM5 from MBNF. We call it on the road again for two reasons. One is because, as you can see, it's really designed like a sports car. Uh, the shape of the body is like the rear section of a sports car, the Lamborghini Muras, the uh, Lotus Esprit and so on. But it's also on the road again because it's inspired very much by the quartz watches of the 1970s. Now this, of course, is not a quartz watch. It's a 100% mechanical watch. You see the automatic movement here on the back with the automatic rotor there. That's a Girard Pergot based movement with a, an additional module by uh, Agenor. What that automatic movement is driving up here is a jumping hour and minutes display. What you see there is in fact an optical illusion. Why? Because inside this box you have that movement. There are two discs laying flat like that and those discs are getting reflected 90 degrees and then magnified 20% to what you see there. So it's an optical illusion. One interesting aspect of the case is the fact that some of these flaps can actually open. If I press this button towards the back, bing, those two little flaps open. That allows light into the case and the light will charge the numbers you see here on the movement, allowing for a better, a better lizability of the, of the hours and minutes. It's, as I said, a jumping hour. So if I move the hours, forwards or backwards, you'll see that when you get to 59 minutes, I don't know if I'm going forwards or backwards here, but I'm going backwards. So forwards would be the other way. As you reach 59 minutes, boom, the arrow will jump. There you go. And maybe the last thing I can say is that this case is in fact two cases. There's an external case, which is what you see here, but inside the watch, you have a second compartment, which is like a shockproof, waterproof, absolutely resistant crash cage. And that's what's protecting the movement inside. Now, when water gets in between the two, you can either open the flaps and the water will drain out, but there are also two little exhaust ports back here. Those two little holes you see at the back of the case will allow water to flow out of the case so that it's perfectly dry. Of course, the movement is protected, as I said, in this little compartment, so the movement will always be absolutely dry and protected. And there you have HM5 on the road again.